welcome class 8 in our e learning class and today we will take out page number 30 the third chapter why do we need sorry why do we need a parliament why do we need a parliament a question mark is there what is the requirement of a parliament we in india pride ourselves on being a democracy here we will try and understand the relation between the ideas of participation in decision making and the need for all democratic governments to have the consent of their citizens so the citizens they must have some sort of consent support approval it is these elements that together make us a democracy and this is best expressed in the institution of the parliament in this chapter we will try to see how the parliament enables citizens of india to participate in decision making and control the government thus making it the most important symbol of indian democracy and a key feature of the constitution so what is the key feature of the constitution and important symbol of indian democracy that is the parliament enables citizens underline the parliament enables citizens of india to participate in decision making that means we citizens we the citizens of india we can participate in decision making and we can also control the government the government cannot act according to its wish every time because we are the people who have elected this people for forming the government so now we are having the power and the authority to regulate the functions of the government and also we can take we can participate in the decision making in this chapter we will see how why should people decide first question why we should decide what ability we are having to decide we are all that means we are everything we are the citizens of india so we are having the authority we are having every right to decide India as we know became independent on 15th August 1947 preceding this was a long and difficult struggle in which many sections of society participated people from various backgrounds joined the struggle and they were inspired by the ideas of freedom equality and participation in decision making under colonial rule the people had lived in fear of the british government and did not agree with many of the decisions that they took but they faced grave danger if they tried to criticize this these decisions the freedom movement changed this uh, situation so during the british rule we can find that many people they were against the decisions of the british government but they were not having the power if they were just uh, tried to criticize at, at that time they got severe punishment so as a result they just became dumb during this colonial rule and uh, at that time uh, they just uh, they were dreaming that when we will receive independence we will have the freedom to make our choices we will uh, get the chances to you know, just uh, put forward our decisions our opinions our ideas the nationalist uh, began to openly criticize the british government and make demands as far back as 1885 the indian national congress demanded that there be elected members in the legislature with a right to discuss the budget and ask questions the government of india act 1909 allowed for some elected representation by this early legislatures under the british government were in response to the growing demands of the nationalists they did not allow for all adults to vote nor could people participate in decision making 
so the british they saw that uh, day by day the demands of this nationalist the, it is growing or their the demands are growing that's why they didn't allow all the adults to vote and nor could people participate in decision making it was not allowed as you read in chapter 1 the experience of colonial rule as well as the participation of different people in the struggle for freedom left little doubt in the minds of the nationalists that all persons in independent india would be able to participate in making decisions so it was just thought at that time only that when our country will become independent at that time all the citizens they will uh, get the authority or they will uh, get the um, uh, scope for deciding or for the participate or to get the scope to participate in decision making with the coming of independence we were going to be citizens of a free country this did not mean that the government could do what it felt like it meant that the government had to be sensitive to people's needs and demands the government is there to see the welfare of the citizens the government is there to run the country properly that's why the government cannot do whatever it wishes it had it has to act according to the wishes of the citizens definitely the wishes which are for the betterment of the country and the, for the betterment of the state uh, sorry for the betterment of the uh, people living here so the dreams uh, sorry i missed the line every time it happens here okay, i got the dreams and aspirations of the freedom struggle were made concrete in the constitution of independent india that laid down the principle of universal adult franchise that is that all adult citizens of the country have the right to vote so the constitution guaranteed that according to this universal adult franchise all adult citizens that means uh, those who are uh, of 18 years that means crossed 18 or attended 18 they are having the right to vote once you are coming to the age of 18 then you will also become the adult citizen of the country and you can also participate in this matter in this case that means in this matter you can also cast your vote you will get the right to vote okay children in our next class we will proceed with the next part that is people and the representatives still then stay at home and read properly bye